Did I tell you my mother's here? Hi everyone, I'm I'm Mike. Uh, welcome back. I'm just waiting around for Tom Hi, and Crow, and then Mike. Tom and I are taking a very active role in our personal security. Yep, that's why we got these taser guns. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, you know you want to be careful with those things. Because, ah! Like you're scaring them. Don't hurt them, Mike. Ooh, Jeez. Ooh, ooh. Wow, <laughs> I've never seen him like that. I know, I know. I didn't want to shoot him, but he scared me. He stirs. Hit him with your peppercorn mace. Ready, ready. Oh, careful, Mike! Don't yell, don't yell, Mike! You're scaring me, Mike! Mike. Oh God, my ass! <laughs> no, no, Mike. Okay, okay. Get your green dice so we can permanently mark the perpetrator. All right. He's scaring me again. I'll be right back. Mike! Mike! Guys, this isn't funny. My face is really green. <laughs> it's not that green, no, Mike. It's incredibly green. Does this stuff even come off anyway? Uh, really, Mike, it's it's not that green. <laughs> it's green. And now Dr. F is calling. <laughs> My face is green. Surprise, it's me. My Clayton has asked me to invite all of you. Clayton! To a little recital I suggested he give. Clayton! Uh, hi, guys. I presume you remember Mother. She's going to be visiting here for a while. And living? I, uh, living here for an interminable amount of, in, indeterminate amount of time, and uh, it's, it's really great to have her here. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, anyway, uh, I used to play the trombone, and Mom thought it would be good if you Nobody heard me play. Nobody wants to hear you talk, Clayton. Uh, right. Not bad, not bad at all, but maybe if you tried something a little more like this. Practiced, you could be like art. Oh, mother. Don't give me that. You do the thing with the tongue. Oh, oh Clayton, you are so embarrassing. Everyone is better than you. What do I have to do to get you to act like a member of the human race? Oh, if I'd only had the daughter I'd prayed for instead of you. <sighs> oh, the shore! Mm. Oh, Clayton, Deborah, Susan, Forrester, you have ruined it for me again. Why does this always happen to me? Trust Haven't you'll put I up with Mother. She's person? really a dear, <laughs> dear. <laughs> um, um, anyway, uh, your Susan movie Forrester. this week is God, Night of Blood Beast. There's a short I as well. No I, have no I do love her. I could just get I do. back and never let his father touch me. Hold that tiger! Hold, Hold that, that tiger! Here, kitty, 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 we got all this stuff! Kitty, please, kitty! Michael Jackson and Lisa Marie had sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was known as something of a chick handler myself. <laughs> Gee, pretty crowded honeymoon, huh? <laughs> what with all the names? It's springtime for Hitler and Germany. <laughs> oh, he directs the best honeymoons. Mm -hmm.
Lucy, I'm dead! <laughs> Once upon a time, or maybe it should be twice upon a time, because this story begins where most stories end, there was a bit of excitement up on cloud seven. On this particular morning, the head angel had called a conference to talk about Jeff and Mary. And their guardian angel, Wilbur, was late. Where is Wilbur? Wilbur! I every cherub in the place out to look for him. Ah. Hiya, fellas. Jeez. Let's get this show on the road. It's already on the road. I'm sorry, Chief. We got so many new clients, we'll have to open a new branch office. These clients are your immediate concern, if you want to keep your license. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Chief. Poor Buck Henry. Marriages are made in heaven. But there's follow-up work, too. You want I should show her a good time? Jeff and Mary have been married for a year, and they haven't had a real honeymoon yet. Like a wham, but everything's wham, under wham. control. They're starting on their honeymoon today. That's what they think, too. But they're going to find out differently. <gasps> Unless you get down there right away and take care of things. I want them eliminated. Something's come up. Something is coming up in exactly 30 seconds. <laughs> now get going. Yes, sir, Chief. Shut on them all. Just go, you big poof. Oh, oh, Wilbur! Dear God, I hate theater people. <laughs> Sir, should we get on to wars or starvation or anything? Or... No, no. Oh, Mrs. Muir! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I love it when I get a call in my pants. Let's dance from my hair dryer here. Chief, Wilbur, make yourself invisible. Hmm? Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> He's trying to have a Montclair moment. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, now they'll get immaculate reception. <laughs> sorry. Uh, you know, I had an angel rotten in my chimney once. Yeah. Sad. I'm sorry, Chief, but I've got to get organized. Besides, no one can see me up here. Yes, sir. There he is, officer. Right, I'm down off the roof. Uh-huh, look, there's a Frisbee in the gutter. <laughs> No angel dust. It's a rattlesnake. <gasps> they live in a dollhouse. You know, they should fire Grandma as their decorator. I'm leaving you. Oh, I thought I was leaving you. You got everything? Everything. Including you. Oh, so hot. Well, let's go then. Yeah, it's the Pope about the one sexual position. <laughs> You're on to us. Bye, Gordon. Mary and I are just leaving. Uh, now, wait a minute. Uh, something's come up. Gordon. It can't come up. When I finished the score for the show, you said I could take Mary on our honeymoon. We've waited a year now, and we're going. Now, hold on, Jeff. It's Sonia. Her wishing number. The words are okay, but she doesn't care much about the music. If we don't have a new tune by tomorrow morning, she's not going to sign for the show. Look, Gordon, rehearsals don't start for four weeks yet, and... I haven't had it in years. We're on our honeymoon. Mm. Now, listen, Jeff. E.G. Marshall if is here. If you don't come up with that new music, there won't be any show and there won't be any honeymoon. Now, you can write a new melody in 24 hours. It's no problem at all. You must have at least a dozen old tunes lying around. Aye, 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 aye. The wishing song? I don't want to have sex. No problem at all. And me completely out of blow. Excuse me while I light my spleef. Well, what would Liberace do? Oh, I better not do that. One of 32 short films about this guy. Ah, uh, let's see. What rhymes with blue balls? Wait a minute. I work for Otis Elevators. I don't write music. Oh, Mickey Work came over to help. No inspiration, darling? I couldn't write The Farmer and the Dill today. Why would you want to write him? A temperamental ballerina. Take like it to... easy. So it's way past dinner time and you haven't eaten lunch yet. Well, I had three packs. I'm not hungry. I'll fix some coffee. I'll give this to the man in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Oh, another one of your scores has fallen apart. Yes? Hello, Mary? What are you adding? Yes, Sonia. You tell Jeffrey, the dear boy, that I love his words. But I want more wishing in the wishing song. You're absolutely right. He couldn't agree with you more. He's working on it right now. It's almost finished. So shut up. <laughs> Goodbye. 
copper bottom bitch. Another sandwich, dear? I pull hard enough, I can snap my head off. I wish I had a castle in the sky. We'll wish in one hand and crap in the other and see which piles up first. Way up high where bluebirds like to fly. I wish I could have sex with Louis Nye. A cozy little castle with a hundred rooms or more. I wouldn't have to dress like Tipper Gore. With stars for windows, clouds for rugs, a <laughs> rainbow for a door. I wish... Honey, I'm trying to compose in here. If you could keep it down... I just wish I had a decent kitchen. Huh. Angels work about as hard as road crews. A <laughs> little pecorino. <laughs> Poppies. I wish. Mm -hmm. I wish the faucet wouldn't drip all day. Aim high, sister. <laughs> oh, I wish hardware Hank hadn't done my kitchen. Oh, sure. Everyone dump on the refrigerator. Fine. I'll close. Miss Betty Ferdas and the new Westinghouse. I wish I had a stove whose pilot light was yeah. always lit. Well, don't look for it now. It's only available in the year 2000. <laughs> Kitchen phone at hand when friends call up to chat a bit. <laughs> Hello, yes, this is Mary. How are you? Bye. Hey, your kitchen dazzles every eye. A brand new sink, a built-in oven, a new refrigerator, and a kitchen phone. It's a hospital. But you know, there's blood and everything. The nuclear reactor exploded. It's all part of my kitchen fantasy. No, no. Have some bear gall juice, honey. I wish my living room were all redone. I think owning a newspaper would be fun. My God, honey, what have you done to our lives? It's nice to have a telephone To blend with my new drapes and rugs A living room that's all, all, all Bang, 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 bang! <laughs> <laughs> honey, I can't stop smiling on hell. Uh, Bobby and Sissy, aren't they wonderful? Um, uh... hey, this might actually be sex right here. What do you think? Okay, uh, where, where can I put you, honey? There. I wrote this one for Scott Thorson. Just meanwhile, soldiers are dying in the mud in North Korea. Ah, who cares? That's her come with her look. The bedroom should be changed completely, too. Yeah, hang a parachute, put up the beer can collection. Perhaps a color scheme of gold and blue. That's about as sexy as a garage. One bed's for them, the other one's for little grandma. Well, Jeff and I were going to get the racing car beds, but we decided on these. A lady likes to have a chance to change her mind. No, 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 none of that. Like a yellow room with turquoise and white. And maybe a telephone that lights up at night. I wish I may. Might. 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 <laughs> ah, sort of a westerny, <laughs> gingham oriental, Danish, modern-esque prairie school sort of thing, huh? Pills, 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 pills. Where are the pills? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get out of here. I smell gas! Hello? Hello? They hung up. Here's how far I've gotten. La. Probably Gordon sitting there like a vulture. Call him back. Yeah. Maybe I'll have in a day or two, but not tonight. 
I haven't got one idea left to rub against the knife. Don't say rub or grind or moist or hard or gristle. His line's busy. Well, try it again. If he and Sonia can't wait, I don't care what they do. Get away from me. Uh, honey, is that a gay man on a Johnson's roof? Should we get a gay man for our roof, honey? Why don't we call him later? No. No. All right. Yeah, I'm your damn secretary, fine. Honey, your cocaine is all over the phone. Money! Wait a minute, do that again. Yeah, okay, now rustle your skirt. Now flap your arms and run the vacuum. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? I'll call someone to write this yeah. song. Again, do it again. Everybody was kung fu fighting. It yeah. works. Sure, for a tuneless sort of thing. Don't worry about my carpal tunnel syndrome or anything. Good boy, you can be trained. Really love your peaches, wanna shake your treat. Oh, damn, you ruined it again. Hello? Oh, hello, Gordon. I've been trying to get Jeff. Sonia's here. How's it coming? Wonderful. You want to hear something? You bet. I'll turn on the speakerphone. I want Sonia to hear it. Fine, listen to this. I wish I had a castle in the sky. Where the bluebirds fly, a castle with the sky. Oh, crap, we're opening tomorrow, too. Jeff, we're having some trouble hearing. Hold on. I'm trying to get the microphone working, Jeff. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. I'm trying playing the song until the microphone will get in here. How the hell is this thing? Work? I mean, yep, yep. I mean, aren't the song from the beginning? We can't. I, I, microphone. Air one, can't. Woo. Hey, hey, leave room for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Welcome to Shakey's. Huh? Elton John was here. This would be a good companion film with a racer head. I love it. Such rhythm, such spirit, such reflection. That's it, kids. Bring it in, Jeff, and go on to your honeymoon. Walter Cronkite approves. <sighs> Jacket? Condoms? <laughs> Lingerie for me and you? Let's go to your mother's. The baby will lock up. Okay, Jeff, we're all set on this end. Go right ahead. Ah, the monks of St. Gregory work on their next big chart-busting hit. <laughs> I'll just order the hit. <laughs> Chief, this is Wilbur. Mission accomplished. I'll be right up. <laughs> right. Now I can do the decorating. Now I'll see what Tad and Bryce are up to. <laughs> I'm losing his pattern, Captain. The following scene contains graphic sexual content. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> what the hell what? was that about, anyway? What is it? That roundly sucks. I wish I had a pretty purple phone to match my purple gypsy color. Ooh, say Hi. thanks. Wow. Ooh, let's see. I wish I had a lovely phone with combined Kenner Easy Bank. Jesus, oh, that man is heavy. Oh, 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 hey, oh, hey. Bust oh, a bean there. Oh, oh, I think I turned my shorts. Oh, I wish I had a princess phone 
mountain on half of it all so loud. Come here. Come on. Get him. 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 Oh. I wish I had one of those things with a thing on it and they were cheap and one of my friends would call and chat with me. Hey, oh, this is fantastic. It's for you. Okay, yeah. huh? Hello, 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 hello. I don't know why you say goodbye. I say hello. And if you say goodbye, I'll hello, suck hello. you in the eye. Then line you up against the wall and pop goes the weasel. And if you say goodbye, I'll suck you in the eye. Then line you up against the wall and pop goes the weasel. Brought to you by your phone council, reminding you to decorate with bones. Bones! Night mother, uh, moose, stalker, uh, of the iguana, uh, sausage, blood sausage. Oh, well. <laughs> Music by Ray Manzarek. Scott McCloud, Space Angel. All right, you uh, lost your trailer. Oh, never mind. Hey, Ed Nelson of Ed Nelson Plumbing and Heating. Free hot dogs for the kids. From a sentence by Gene Corman. NASA simulation. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 help! The conductor's having a seizure. <laughs> Dick Courier, when Dick absolutely positively has to be there overnight. <laughs> Isn't this the Polypepsian Dance Number 2 by Borodin? Yeah. That's why it stinks. <laughs> this has been thoroughly Cormanized. Oh. <laughs> Yuck. You know, I don't know that much about space, but it seems like they're just wandering around. Ah, and it's a Gene Corman signature movie. Uh, there's going to be some turbulence, seeing as we have one wing. From the sun and fun capital of the world. And now our story. This is X-100 to Goldenrod. Hmm? X-100 to Goldenrod. Do you read me? Over. When I fly the real one, I'll have more stuff. Normal descent on instruments. Normal descent on instruments. This thing won't boot up. Altitude 90,000 feet. Approaching critical velocity. And I have a bulbous growth in my nose. Something's wrong. I'm falling too fast. So I'll just pull everything. I'm in trouble. The jets don't break my speed. Okay, I'm switching to blend. I'm releasing the drag chute. If it returns, I'll love it forever. If it doesn't, then it was never mind to begin with. I'm being severely backlit. There's no drag, and I'm getting too close to the Earth. I'm afraid of intimacy. Oh, I knew I was lactose intolerant, but... Oof. My pizza! Oh. There's nothing more I can do now. Estimate Party tape. Practice. Woo! Ten miles northeast, your location. Uh-huh. In case recorder's damage, get this. Help! Ah! miles. <coughs> Weight ratio, 187. Plus, 220 tons. Pants, totally filled. Sorry. It starts. Sorry. <laughs> Rut Patrol, in color. Boy, Houston doesn't waste much time. Got a guy in a Jeep right out there. Someone's burning leaves, and NASA is there. It's a Land's End ad. Available in Loden, Camel, Stone, Pant, and Twerp. Mark Trail. With Gore-Tex. <laughs> I told you, no hot plates. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't get the jaws of life, so I brought Cindy. She's really strong. NASA's highly sophisticated firefighting techniques. Anyone in here need off? (coughs) Cindy, clear the shot. (coughs) Did I hit the ocean? Uh, No, it's Spooner, Wisconsin, Gary. Hi, I'm Bill Proxmire. I'm running for Senate. (laughs) His pop spilled. Uh, He's a mess. You got a moist towel at? Should have sent up a dog first. I'll uh, have a sandwich. That's okay. I'll tell the others. Am I a other? Excuse me, could you move your entrails aside? Vanna Bork White on the scene. Oh, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Um, am I having a feeling? Do, do I need a perm? 
Your space program ain't so good. <laughs> yeah, Breaker One Niner for the big booty. We got a spam in the can, and we'll catch you on the big bounce round. Over. Goldenrod Baker to Goldenrod Abel. Well, he's not that alive anymore. Over. Goldenrod Baker to Goldenrod Abel. The rest of NASA rushes to the scene. Goldenrod Baker to Goldenrod Abel. Goldenrod Baker to Goldenrod Abel. Uh, hold on, we're switching all power to the radio. If it's Gary, I'm not here. Did you find it? Came down about three miles east of Walker's Pass. Hmm. Area 116 or 117 on your map. How bad is he? You ever see Stroganoff? He bought it all the way. You're certain? No respiration, no heartbeat, no pulse. Came down pretty hard. The rocket unit's still in one piece, and oh, most of the Oh, thank God. Sections. Everything else is scattered around for about half a mile. Including Bob. <laughs> Tell Donna to cover the entire area. Canaveral will want all the visual data we can give them. Hmm? Oh, and uh, don't move anything till we get there. Go and Rod Baker out. Look, a frog! <laughs> I'll be sorry, Julie. But you're going to have to scooch over. I can understand how you feel. I lost a husband once. But we can't let it interfere with the work we have to do. You both knew it was a calculated risk. So, Arby's, everyone? I'll be all right, Doctor. Oh, I'm fine, too. Don't even ask. Let's get going. This is back when NASA was family-owned and operated. Before this decade is out, we will put a man in a pickup truck and bring him safely to Mendocino County. It's great how they can run the space program and then sell corn from their flatbed truck. <laughs> Dave? What should I do with my gum? My position of the smudge. Don't play, honey. No. Dr. Wyman wants you to get full coverage on the entire area. I don't want to take a dumb picture. This was your first project under Dr. Wyman, wasn't it? Oh, I've been under him before. <laughs> yeah. I helped design the jettison unit that didn't work. Then remember that other thing that didn't work? On a project like this, there's always a margin for error. You expect it. Especially yeah. when it's you working on it. And when it comes, you're fine. You really didn't expect it after all. Who knew we needed fuel? You think Julie expected it? With his engagement ring on her finger? I'm not sure what I meant by that. <laughs> John Cocorn was the first man to be sent up in a satellite and ejected back to Earth. Yeah. Well, he was supposed to come back alive. Stupid jerk. Check the rest of them. Look, Dave. Hmm? Look, don't blame yourself. The answer lies in this wreckage. Let's recheck the crash pattern. No, let's just go. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Hmm? No, no, Steve, not now. <laughs> hey, the rug is escaping. Well, this is like Night of the Ground Squirrel. Oh, no, Patrick Stewart fell into quicksand. And action. <laughs> Hi, NASA. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Hey, that's funny. What's that? This rip was smaller when we first got here. Would the stress of settling into the ground have widened? Um, yes. How could that be? The entire hull is made of magnetic alloy. <laughs> I'd like to examine the body before we bring it out. I'll need to be All nude. Right. Watch you don't cut yourself, Doctor. Be very careful with my hat. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice little Quonset Hut spaceship he's got. Honey, your mother's worried. Why aren't you getting up for school? Okay, let's see. Righty tighty, lefty Lucy. Did he have a skull when we sent him up? Well, at least they can strip him for parts. Dr. Benson, come here quickly. Bring my bag. Ted never asked me for his bag at home. <laughs> oh, man, she's getting it. <sighs> Thanks, I uh, need my tennis shoes. Boy, this is cool. This is just like alien autopsy. Oh, yeah, man. It's... I want you to see this. Look how dead he is. <laughs> yeah, it's probably an outpatient thing. Oh, let's see, uh, ever since I've known him? It's been at least three hours since the crash. Oh, 
for three hours and no sign of body rigidity. Well, that's nothing new. No skin discoloration. Temperature feels normal. Well, let's give him more time to die. No dilation whatsoever. Huh. The cause of death must be due to an internal rupture. He should have worn a cup. I've never seen an internally damaged body with no sign of rigor mortis after so long. And I love it. Let's get him back to the lab so we can continue the examination. Is your freezer empty? A layer of fudge on this capsule. It's a girl. Look at this. Mealworms. I could raise these and make good money at home. Help Dr. Wyman. He wants to take John back to the lab. Sphagnum peat moss. Dave? That's really gross. Get a blanket. <laughs> Yeah, I'll drive this back to NASA. It all started at a 500 watt radio station in Fresno, California. <laughs> Please, no terrorists. This area restricted area. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Trespassers are shot on sight by order of the government. NASA's fruit truck makes a delivery. I have to question whether this is really a government operation. Mm -hmm. Well, we had to snap him in two like a frozen dog to get him out of the <laughs> space capsule, but wow. I think you'll... How does this work? Hello, Everglades. Hello, Everglades. This is Goldenrod. This is Goldenrod. How do you receive, or? I'm putting a burrito in the microwave. You guys want okay. anything? That's not the question. Are we transmitting? They don't mm -hmm. receive anything from us. They won't try and reach us until the frequency check at 9 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Hmm, what should I wear to a funeral? Hmm. Anyone wants sandwiches? I'm heading into town. Hmm. Oh, it's a little low on air. <laughs> By all medical standards, this man is dead. So just like before, then. No heartbeat, no respiration. Never seen a man so dead. And his tissues refuse to dissipate. Well, I'm going to make them. Is it possible <laughs> he could be in a, well, a kind of catatonic state? Could he still be alive? No. Get That's out. A form of hypometabolism. That's impossible. Well, maybe he's dead. It's hard to stop. There's no circulation. You know as well as I do that when this process stops, the brain starts to deteriorate almost at once. Within a matter of three minutes, it dies. It's like he's dead or something. Hello, Everglades. Hello, Everglades. This is Goldenrod. This is Goldenrod. How do you receive? Over. I'm a photographer. <laughs> Maybe after this long a radio silence, we'll switch over to an emergency channel. I mean, that's what I Somebody do. Tried that. How about the Air Force? Well, maybe they're home. Hello, Air Force Emergency. This is Special CQD Goldenrod Station. Mm -hmm. How do you receive? Over. Air Force is so stuck up. Everything's all fouled up here. Yeah. I couldn't receive the spot weather report on this. Oh, dear. Yeah, but are you sure it's not your set? No, I've already checked everything. Will you go out and ask Steve to come in here a minute? Please? Okay. Steve! I could have done that. Hello, Everglade. Hello, Everglade. This is Goldenrod. This is Goldenrod. Do you receive? Over. Well, he's still dead. Nothing, Doctor. Hello, Hanson. Doctor. He's got Senior Wences disease. Hey, look, jelly comes out. What is it? <laughs> Not a lesion. More like something had been forced through the tissue. Than <laughs> um, have you guys seen my brush? Steve. Yes? 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 The radio still won't work. Dave wants to see you. Okay. I bet they're going nuts at the Cape. Yeah, they're partiers. Woo. That radio working, Steve. We're going to need assistance. I'll keep fiddling with the corpse. <laughs> Look at that. Um, I found a chiclet. Hey, she walked up twice. <laughs> Hi. Have you been helped? Hey, come here and help me shake the candy machine. What's the trouble? I can't transmit across the room with this thing. Mm. Gold star, huh? It sounds like a magnetic disturbance. Yeah. Could be the power lines fouled up outside. Mm. What's happening in there? Oh, big spring dance. I don't know. Somehow we've got to get through to the Cape. Uh, it's five hours over to now. I bet half the brass in the state of Florida is up in arms. Well, I hope not. If enough people find out about this, we'll have everybody up here. 
Where is up I'll here? I'll check the tower. You stay here and keep trying to get through, will you? Yeah. All right, taking you up to news time with the chucker. Look, if you pick up anything, give a yell, huh? Right. Sure. Ram it, clown. He's getting deader. Yeah. Blood pressure, 120 over 80. Normal for a living man. That's impossible, doctor. You must have made a mistake. The doctor, I checked it twice. But you're a girl, doctor, doctor. This man does have normal pressure. It's as if he's dead. That's impossible. It's inconceivable. Take a blood sample. I'll make a radiation count. <laughs> Ladder that same evening. Don't. <laughs> Will you do what it? I will be thinking. Mr. Fawlty! She's so crazy! She hit me. Blood beast? Mm. Okay. There. I fixed it. <laughs> hey, you guys. Ladder's loose again. Golden rod to Everglade. Golden rod to Everglade. Come in, Everglade. Over. Restricted changing area. I want to find our picnic stuff. Golden rod to Everglade. Come in, Everglade. This is an emergency. You see? Everglade, you dickweeds. This is a stupid space program. I'm going to go work for my uncle's space program. Outhouse is connected to the main breaker at NASA. <laughs> now you stay in there, Mr. Power. Very interesting. Steve? Not everybody is Steve. Steve, Steve, cut it out. Da 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 pew 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 da da. <laughs> and the Steves are there. Steve one, you go that way. Steve two, come with me. This has Steve written all over it. <laughs> Uh-oh, undercupping. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Something bit at me. It was big like a bear. Was it a bear? I came out of the darkness and was heading for the lamp. I know I put a couple of shots in it before I went down. Wounded animal that large isn't good. <laughs> How well are we on? Well, besides his pistols, we've got a couple of rifles. I think it headed toward the back of the building. Dave. Who's Dave? Are you sure you're all right? Yeah, yeah, just clip me. Steve? <laughs> Come on, we're late for biology. I'll get the costumes. You guys be the Yankees and we'll be the Nazis. <laughs> oh, neat. Did you get this at Pier 1? Now that in the 10K really lights up the place. Steve? Steve. Shh, don't wake up Dad. He's in a really bad mood. At the window. Down to get the other ladder. Let's talk fast for the rest of the movie. Did it get to him? No. What do you think it was? Well, this didn't come off any bear. Bring the light over here, will you? Oh, that's mine. My back has been flaking off like crazy. <laughs> no fur, no bud. No disco, no fooling around. Very much like leather. Can I go home? Is the power out completely? No, just partly. Of course it's out completely. Yes, it is. You have any idea what caused it? Could be a break in the cable of the dam or a short circuit in one of the transformers. Swirl. Dave, are you sure the building was thoroughly checked? Are the wiring and the fuses all right? I went over everything thoroughly. I checked everything. Hmm. I, I'll check again. Maybe they shouldn't have launched a rocket while the dryer was running. Yep. Nothing's wrong here. Like I said, it's probably the disturbance up at the dam. Well, Steve needs some help boarding the window. Get Steve on it. There, all set in case the birds attack us. Well, at least it won't freeze. Unless it gets really cold. <laughs> a place like this would be equipped with heating. Until a few months ago, this was a radar monitoring station. Before that, it was a car wash. The ultra-sensitive <laughs> instruments respond better to the cooler atmosphere. Systolic was 140. We'll just lay off. I'll have a blood sample for you in a few minutes. Make it two. I think it'll take an hour to realize we're incommunicado and send aid. With a security operation as tight as this, maybe another 12 hours. Mm. Could mean we could be here another day. Ouch. Everything's so little. 
Oh, tiny fried eggs. <laughs> Who ordered their sunny side up? Doctor! Doctor! Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> I've never seen anything quite like it. I've never seen a saltine up close. <laughs> Notice the way it's fighting the others. <laughs> My God, I'm pregnant. Go. Yeah, you got him. Him. Uncle. 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 Uh, uh, hi, uh, Mrs. Forrester. You're looking nice today. Yeah, right. Look, kids. My Clayton has something he wants to say to you, don't you, Clayton? I do? Yes, you do, young man. Now you come right here, front and center, and you tell your little friends what you did. Uh, Mother, uh, don't talk to the experiment. You'll taint the data. You come here ah. and apologize. Oh, Mother, apologize for what? What did I do? Don't take that tone with oh. me. I think you know the high school incident. Oh, I'm sure I have no idea what you're talking Clayton? about. Clayton? Mother? Clay? Oh, uh, was it the time I ate the bag of wool? No, the bad thing. Oh, ha. Uh, I peed in Brian Falong's locker. No. I, uh, I, I puked uh, Cocoa Puffs and hot chocolate into uh, Kevin McConnell's No. Uh, is it poop related? Clayton, you know very well what it is, and I think you will feel better if you just admit it and apologize. Mother, make it stop. Clayton, Deborah, Susan, Forrester. All right, Mom. All right, come on, you and me. Come on, we will dance. Come on, you want a piece of me? Huh? Huh? Come on, huh? Oh, jeez. Ah. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, nice shooting, Mother. Oh, go, Mother, blood. Aren't you hooligans due back into the theater? Back in the Seven hours and his blood is still alive. Steve, you can still lead a full and productive life. Just reminded of when my turtle died, that's all. What I'm about to say might sound strange, but I think we should eat this corpse. <laughs> One of us will have to drive to the nearest telephone and call a cape. Hmm. Every minute counts. What is it? There's a cartoon in the microscope. I've seen amoebic dominance of a cell structure before, but this is completely out of proportion. Well, what are they? What do they mean? Well, normal blood has two basic cells. Duh. The red carry oxygen and the white fight infection. Yep. But this blood has three. Mm. The third cell, that big one. Remember that one, oh. the big one? He had the hair. That's completely foreign to any blood structure. God, I'm in a funk. If that bacterioid is contagious, then we've all been exposed. Bacterioid? I doubt if it's communicable. We better get to the nearest town fast. Okay, bye. I imagine that'll be Desert City. But that's over 30 miles. Isn't there anything closer? There's got to be a pizza hut nearby. There's nothing on the map. Steve? I'm going to kill myself. Call a cape from Desert City. Get in touch with uh, Dr. Zimmerman. Don't go into detail. Just tell him to get here as quickly as he can. Now, what about equipment? Yeah, I get some of that too, I suppose. Oh, we need a new power <laughs> supply. Need a refrigerated mm. truck or an ambulance to transport the body. Mm. Oh, and... Uh, get yourself something nice. Tell him to request priority clearance directly to Walter Reed Hospital in Washington. Right. I'll be back as soon as I can. Oh, and uh, snag some brews, a couple sandwiches, and a thing of wax worms. Keep checking the blood pressure, Doctor. The last count was 140 over 80. What a selfish thing to say. Well, that's all we can do for the present. <laughs> I'm going to go walk in front of a bus. That's the point of all of this. Look at those little guys go. Wow. Did you turn the light off in the hall? Oh, so like a blood beast can dismantle a distributor cap? Time to dance, Blood Beast. I bet it's those nuns from The Sound of Music. Steve? Steve? 
Any luck with the Jeep? I can't figure it out. Carl's and both the truck and the Jeep are burnt out. That's the most insulting thing you've ever said to me. Hmm. And I suppose I should apologize. Ow! Oh, oh. Anyway, thanks for listening. Look, we missed the first half of Friends. They're both stopped. Everything's going wrong in this movie. He's an odd little man. I just developed a picture, everyone. Um, if you're looking for that one thing, Barb moved it. <laughs> Steve, Steve and I have something to tell you. Take a look. This was in my tuna. We're in a magnetic force field. A what? A net of static electricity is surrounding the entire area. Uh -huh. That's why our power's dead. Mm -hmm. Well, we're not going anywhere tonight. The truck and the Jeep are burned out electrically. What would cause a thing like that? God hates us. There's a very powerful magnetic source somewhere nearby. Oh. It's reversing all positive electrical power. <laughs> you sly boots. Dr. Wyman, how close is the uh, satellite compartment? Who cares? Two, maybe three miles. I'm just thinking, is it possible that the compartment could be bombarded with electron particles? It could be. It's happened before in some of the earlier snark farms. Snark farms? When the missiles came back to Earth, they were pretty heavily magnetized. But there's a mountain range between us and the compartment. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any logic behind any of this. Well, here's something to complicate things even more. I took these upside down. The shot I took when Dave and I first got out there. Look at it closely. Now lick it. Dave, remember I mentioned the strange mud? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, this was the last shot taken. Most of the mud has disappeared, and the opening is larger. Mm. Yes, I remember that when we took John out of the compartment. But at the time, it didn't seem important. Well, someone or something must have been there. Saw a huge blood-sucking alien, but I didn't think it was important either. Uh, I'm gonna go kill myself again. I don't know why. <laughs> Steve? Uh, Steve? Hey, anyone remember Pringles? There's an explanation and a good one for all of this. Elves. There must be. Hold on, I, I guess there's not. Some of the things that have occurred today are without precedent. Ah, oh, just ignore me. <laughs> man in there alive, it should be dead. Hmm. Something that's never happened before. Well, once, but he had the wind at his back. <laughs> You've never sent a man so far into space before. There's so little food and no air. <laughs> well, we're all tired, disappointed. Stupid. But under a terrible strain. I feel good. After this long, the Cape has probably contacted the Pentagon. It's just a matter of time. What if they can't get through? The magnetic force field works both ways. Okay, so I'm wrong. Well, in the morning, one of us will have to hike down and meet them. As a precautionary measure, I suggest we all stay in this room tonight. I'll lay on Sharon. And Dave and I'll take turns <laughs> watching the corn. Right. Yeah, you're taller than last year, honey. <laughs> condescend, <Really>? condescend. <laughs> I'm sorry, Doctor. Hold it back any longer. I have to overact. <laughs> I wish there was something I could say. I guess I just said that. I'll listen if you like. Girl, you'll be a woman I soon. Know. This is someone you love. But this. The unknown. Being held. Here. No, hey, hello, hello. Alex, I don't... <gasps> you know, my gown opens from the rear. <gasps> say, hello. Uh, Julie, he alone stood on the threshold of our future. And he peed it down his leg. <laughs> what happened to him today, we may learn more than we've ever known. We've learned not to send Polacks into space. <laughs> Maybe I should just listen. There'll be other Steves. Oh, Mama, that is so sweet. <laughs> but is he dead? Look, let's not make a federal case out of this. You know, the listening thing went over like a lead balloon. Scientists, the more we learn, the more we realize there is to learn. Scientists? Life itself is the greatest miracle. Well, when we get him to the hospital tomorrow, maybe we'll know. Oh, oh my adenoids. Oh. <laughs> Could you massage my front now? Good night, Doctor. Good night, Joe. Just three little ties in the back slips right off. <laughs> well, I just needed to talk to somebody. I've been a little down. <laughs> Thanks a lot. You need one of these, huh? <laughs> oh, 
here comes the nutty part. <laughs> no, easy one. No, come on. Let's see where it was. Brillig and the slithy toves. Are, oh, what the hell am I thinking? I don't know. Martha Graham. Who put my sweater in the dryer? <laughs> Sorry. Wait. There's one last piece of carrot cake. I'm going to have it. Did you put the blood beast out? Be very quiet. We're hunting blood beasts. <laughs> Loin chop? No, I, I don't think so. <laughs> huh? Ooh, <laughs> the patient has blown a gasket. <laughs> Hi, well, we're looking for an honest man. After a while. Put some pants on. His head's gone. Oh, that's his hinder, Steve. Oh. Yep, it's the dismount that always impales him. Wow. You march straight down from there, mister. There's nothing you can do. Unless you know where his face is. Another long scene in here should help. <laughs> Must have taken the body. Whatever it is, it works fast. Provides soothing relief. Let's take him down. But you said he could stay up till New Year's, and that means Christmas is over. I forgot to tell him that Rhonda called. <laughs> oh, oh, God, I slipped in his face. Ew. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. Oh. oh, I just blew all over the operating room. Oh. Well, welcome back to the land of the living, mister. Steve. What, me Steve or he Steve? Help me. The table. Let's shoot him back into space and see what happens. <laughs> About hello, hi, anything? Oh. Johnny. Oh, Steve's name is Johnny. Johnny. Oh. You're all right. Oh, Julie. I don't know. I don't know. I think so. Could I have an Eskimo pie? Where's Dr. Wyman? I hadn't finished his head. Suppose you tell us what happened. Julie, what happened to Dr. Wyman? He's dead. Thank you, Julie. Hey, wait up. Why are you staring at me? You don't think that I had anything to do with it? John. A.K.A. We're Steve. We're just as confused as you are. <laughs> Did you see anything? Was there anybody in the room with you and Dr. Wyman? I don't know. I don't want to hear I don't know, mister. <laughs> Last thing I remember. I was headed for the door. I was making my descent. The jets didn't take hold. When I finally released the drag chute, it didn't hold. Hmm? I was too close to the ground. Hmm? You crashed. Mm -hmm. We brought you here. Yeah. You're so full of it. <laughs> you don't remember. I seem to be floating. In a warm black mist. Ah, we gave you a pudding bath. Oh, my head. My achy breaky head. My neck. Have you seen it? Same mark. I told him not to pick at that. Oh, <laughs> did that thing pop? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's old pizza back. <laughs> uh, see, I got a little nutty with a wood chisel. You think I'm Steve, don't you? <laughs> Tell me what's happening. Johnny, if you don't understand, we thought you were dead. And frankly, we're getting pretty used to the idea. Yeah, we sold off your organs. What do you mean, dead? Well, don't yell at us. When we pulled you out of the compartment, your body had completely ceased to function. What do you mean, compartment? A hypometabolistic state. No, no. A type of suspended animation. No, 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 you were dead. Brought on by the contraction of the mesentery blood vessels. That's so in sad. In the pressure change of landing. Oh, terminology I'd expect it from Dr. Wyman, not from you. You wash your mouth out with soap. Well, it seemed like the natural diagnosis. Of Dr. Wyman, yes. In some way, I think Dr. Wyman is influencing me. I think he may be a part of me now. Can you be dead again? <laughs> oh, 
I don't really think that. I don't understand. <laughs> You've got to help me. Really? Help me. It's unbelievable. Things like this just don't happen. This is helping. <laughs> Thank you. Really? <laughs> Thank you. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Afraid not, am I? <laughs> it didn't come here to destroy. Johnny, try to tell us what didn't come here to destroy us. No more questions. More boobies. <laughs> Well, this one's not as nice. They're gone. My brownies are gone. I've uh, got a bassoon if we need one. What are you talking about? Come see for yourself. You big, dumb, dead guy. Sit down. That's what the fuss looks like now. Normal in every respect. Four hours ago, it was populated with alien amorphic cell structures. They mean to win Wimbledon. I think we should see what I look like under the fluoroscope. Yeah, that'll kill some time. <laughs> Put a shirt on while you're at it. How will it work with the power out? It operates on a radium cathode tube. Oh. <laughs> wow, he's loaded with shrimp. <laughs> oh, oh God. The amorphic cell structures have expanded to... Jacksonville. <laughs> his body for a breeding ground. You're not going to harm them, are you? What do you mean? We don't even know what they are. The one thing we do know is that they're alien to the human body. Young man. Somehow they must have come down with you in the compartment. You're gross. Only a few hours ago, they were microscopic. We've got to do something. If you destroy them... You destroy me. Steve's don't preach. I'm in trouble deep. You know what? I think I get hush puppies and coleslaw with these. You can't destroy them. I'll take care of them. But why not? That's why not. Kramer! I love them! Barney's been in a fire! I love you! You burn me! <laughs> Shoot him over you! Shoot him! <laughs> There's no way to meet the in-laws! <laughs> Ah, oh boy, you know, you marry the whole family, huh? Yeah, That's yeah. true. Oop. Not the copier! <laughs> My resume was in there. <laughs> hey, look, I'm really sorry. I thought Johnny told you I was dropping by. Oh, oh boy. You can't stop me from seeing my children. Come back here, you varmink! You stupid wall, stupid wall, you stupid, stupid wall. Come here, you little tramp. When I think of the blood beast's hands all over you. Uh, it burned, but it got away, didn't it? It doesn't seem to go very far. It's gone. It was burned pretty bad. I think we ought to track it down and make sure it's dead. No, let's wait for help. We can't possibly combat that thing by ourselves. Look, nobody's gotten to us, and no one probably will until it's destroyed. Hmm? Why does it have to be killed? Don't you think he's cute? Why are we always so quick to destroy? It's, it's an alien. It's the first of its kind to come to the Earth. John, you know what it's done to you, breeding its young in your body. You saw what it did to Dr. Wyman. Mm -hmm. Isn't that reason enough? It has to be killed. <laughs> you don't understand. It didn't come in malice. Hmm? It could have killed all of you earlier, but it was me it was after. And I've loved every minute of it. It's come back to me to, to nourish its young. That's weird, Steve. For more reason to destroy it. Suppose it is still alive. Bullets don't harm it. They got it handled, Steve. The fire seems to. Well, the very pistol has an engulfing flame plus a delayed explosion. Very Better pistol. than a lantern. Very pistol? Hmm? Flare gun. At short range, it'll chop down anything. There's some in the cabinet in the hall. I'll get them. Come on, Dave, you can't. Listen, you can't kill a living creature without giving it a chance to justify itself. <laughs> oh, sorry. The hormones. Let's put him in there. Oh, yeah. Grandma's old room. Well, I'll try to raise them as if they're my very own shrimp. Uh, yeah, just lay them on the ironing board. <laughs> so, Julie, guess he wasn't getting enough at home, huh? <laughs> Julie? <laughs> Can you give him something to keep him quiet? Sodium amatol. Good. Or you could just turn on cartoons. I'll leave you here to watch him. Donald, come with us. We're going to need photographic coverage. 
Oh, this is going right in my eye. Will that really keep him out until we get back? I don't know. Under normal circumstances, this should render him unconscious for at least 12 hours. But this isn't a normal person. This is no ordinary Steve. What you and he were to each other has no bearing on what he is now, Julie. Actually, it was pretty lukewarm. <laughs> I'm not worried. He's not dangerous. Not to me, anyway. Except when the Packers lose. <laughs> well, we can't take any chances. That creature loses and comes back here. Look, I'm trying to shoot up. Or if he gives you a bad time. You better know how to use a buried pistol. Believe me, Julie, he's not the same man you were engaged to. Here's your Frankenberry pistol. Thanks. Let me have one for Julie, will you? Ooh. There you go. That'll do you. Bye. Now, don't worry. If we run into any trouble, we're not going to be heroes. Now, who's Rose? Just pull the hammer back. <laughs> and blow my head off. Just be back as soon as you can. Nope. Hmm. God, this feels great in my hand. I've got to kill something. Don't make any sudden moves, honey bunch. Steve, I need to iron a blouse. Could you sleep somewhere else? You know, he's really not showing that much. Well, I can't find the blood beast, but I see the beast of Yucca Flats. They got this box a lot healthier than I am. You know, I, I think it's leading us back to the compartment. I hear a birdie. Yeah, it looks that way. How long do you think we've been out? Well, Tom came out last year, and then Steve was going to come Look, my watch is running again. Hmm? Mine's not, you femme. <laughs> Mine, too. That means the magnetic field must be broken. It must be dead. So what are we all looking at? We better make certain. If we throw a shower for Steve, can there be egg salad? Look, a lupin. Ah, Blood Beast is doing his laundry. See? Uh-huh. Up there. <laughs> George said if I ever got in trouble to come back here to the place by the creek. <laughs> Cliff has Billy Idol hair. <laughs> Blood Beast! Blood Beast! Bloody. Boy. Imagine how much lower we'd be if we were down there. Hello? Wow. Are we camping? Is this camping, you guys? You know, I never went camping. One time we went to North Dakota when I was little to visit Uncle Ron. He had a horse, and it stepped on me. I think it was a horse. Um, if we do have a shower, we could probably get stuff that's green or yellow, because even if they are boys or girls, they can still use them. And you don't, if aliens even have sex, I don't think they have it, because... Well, it seems like the most likely place for it to go. <laughs> yeah, I don't see anything. Maybe it's on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you stay here until we're sure it's safe. Mm -hmm. Dave, you circle to the left, and I'll go to the right. Check. Mm, maybe I should have gotten the purple blouse. I don't know. Stay, Donna. Stay there completely alone. That'll, <laughs> that's best. Uh-huh. I had a naughty thought. <laughs> <laughs> You know, a blood beast can outrun a quarter horse for the first 50 yards. Maybe if they had a blood hound. <laughs> <laughs> God, his droppings are enormous. Room out. I got skunked on blood beast, but it's a great day to be out in the woods. Ooh, the blood beast is making jerk chicken. <laughs> mm. Nothing could possibly live through that. And we know for sure it's in there. Look, it stopped again. Hey, Steve! <laughs> Don't stay there. Stay all along. Sure, you can use it. <laughs> Sigmund the sea monster's got me! How can he possibly? He couldn't live if he's not in there. Mannix. Double Mannix. Our plan is going perfectly. Hey, mister, a little help. Can we have our woman back? Hey, good place to get lucky under there. <laughs> oh, baby, I was misnamed. I'm really the love beast. It's going to kill her. Fire over its head. You think I'm... Oh, I see. Huh? Huh? 
I regret nothing. <laughs> No, no thanks, I just I was. I so. could have killed me. But it didn't. Probably would have we had to chase it off. Might have wound up like Wyman. Your Wyman? We better get back. Panicked. Billy's all alone and the monster may try and contact a coin again. Yeah, let's go. Hey, it's one of those guns that says bang. Janie got a gun. Oh, he is showing. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, 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 no. I can see every contour. Oh, my God. Oh. Make it go away. And God bless Grandma. And please don't let the alien babies eat me in my sleep. Thank you. Amen. Thanks. Howdy, ma'am. Don't be afraid, Joey. Look, can I make you a shirt? <laughs> I'm not going to hurt you. It's just the way my pants fit. That wasn't meant for you. That was for the creature or whatever it is. You can call him the creature. It doesn't offend him. Don't stare at me, Julie. And don't look at my area. I'm sorry, John. I'm sorry that you look like Andrew McCarthy. If what you say is true and I've been dead... Will I still get calls from Citibank? <laughs> I don't know what this means for us, but I haven't changed in my feeling. I need sexual healing. Julie, we're all afraid of the unknown. You don't understand what's happened to me, and... Because there's an unknown being, you want to destroy it. Being? But isn't it possible that what's taking place is for a purpose? Logical positivist. Why not let the creature have a chance to tell us why it's here? But it broke in and attacked us. It killed Dr. Wyman, and it's done this to you. He shrimped you. We had to do something. <laughs> now the others have gone to make sure it's dead. It's not dead, and they won't be able to find it. Hmm? How do you know? Um, stuff. <laughs> Julie, I'm the one who's had the most contact with it. No, duh. Something foreign is inside it. Alive. I'm filled with scam. If there was any cause for fear, wouldn't I know it? But I'm not afraid. This creature is intelligent. Mm -hmm. It wants something. Mm -hmm. We've got to give it a chance to communicate with us. Here's your Count Chocula pistol. Did he nibble at your neck like I used to? Did he know all the little things you like? Oh, God, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Whoa, somebody lose a toenail? <laughs> We're sending you to stay with relatives until this whole thing blows over. See, the sedative didn't work. My bodily reactions aren't those of a normal person. I'm Italian. What happened to the creature? <laughs> Got away. Then it's alive. He told me it would be. Somehow he knew. He's a witch! He seems so sure that it's not evil. This isn't a battle between men and a non-reasoning being. Can't you see it doesn't want to kill for the sake of killing? Hmm? It could have done away with all of us earlier if it wanted to. Until we discovered its fear of fire. Listen. Have good evidence, you when you were out super. checking the power lines last night, all you had with you was a pistol, which you fired at it with no effect. <laughs> if it had been a wild animal, it would have tried to kill you before moving on. That mole. Count for what happened to Dr. Wyman? He fell against the coffee table. No, I can't. But maybe it could if we give it the chance. Why should we give it a chance? Sorry. It's already committed murder. It's done I, I don't know what to you when it's attacked Donna. Donna omitted for clarity. Hmm? Look, if you were in a strange place and you were trying to communicate with the inhabitants, but every time you tried, they made a move against you, the only way to break through to them would be to take a hostage. Can't you see that's what it's been doing? It's been acting out of fear and self-preservation. It wants to communicate with us, but it, it doesn't know how. We've got to give it a chance. What do you have in mind? A sleepover! It's obvious <laughs> the creature keeps coming back to me because part of it is inside of me. Part of him was inside you, yeah. Why not let me lead us to it? In the daylight, in the open. Mm. Maybe he's got something. Yeah, sea monkeys. When we were out searching for the creature, our watches started running again. Oh, boy. And then when we encountered it, they stopped. On our way back here, they became active again. Yeah. And now everything's dead. Look, you're the only one interested in this, Steve. Now, it's my guess that the magnetic disturbance originated from two different locations. Ooh, well, yeah. One from the creature. And one more for the road. And then from you. It might be the only thing that's keeping you alive. Herbalife is keeping him alive. <laughs> if my life has been given back to me, it's for a purpose. Trust me. <clears throat> and we'll learn why. If the creature isn't what you believe it to be and we're forced to kill it, then we have no indication of what will happen to you. 
I know. Let's review. What are we talking about? That's why it's important to let the creature make itself known before we take any action. <laughs> All right. But if we follow Johnny's plan, we still have to be prepared. Mm-hmm. We have no way of knowing what can happen to us. Mm-hmm. I felt a kick. Remember, we have agreed to give the creature every opportunity to prove itself. In the morning, we still agree to follow Johnny's plan and get an early start. By that time, maybe help will arrive. Dave and I will stand guard. The rest of you get as much sleep as you can. Will it come back here tonight? Well, we didn't have a date, but he stops by most evenings. I don't know. Okay, and the plan is? <laughs> so, uh, why a trapeze? I don't want to know. <laughs> I'm going to go get a live well for my babies, all right? At least this is better than Junior. <laughs> Mom, Dad, little red guy, I have something to tell you. I have lain with blood beast and I am pregnant. Don't believe me? Here, look at the fluoroscope. Oh, sure. Mm-hmm. Five? Oh, my God! Please don't make this any harder than it is. We're in love and you can't stop us. He's going to work at Stokely's till the end of the summer and then he's going to move in with us. Gee, bro, <laughs> they kind of look like peel and eat shrimp. Thank you. Do you need a glass of water? <laughs> Uh, Crow, uh, how did this happen, anyway? Oh, me, a blood beast, a bottle of wine. Would you like a pickle? Uh, you know, Crow, I, I I, don't really believe you're pregnant. Uh, Mike, I'm crowning right now as we speak. Ah! All righty, then, I'm pregnant. Could be complications. Uh, <clears throat> here, I've got a list of demands. Oh, okay. Uh, just Take a look here. Uh, complete bed rest with comic books and videos. Mm-hmm. Servo must clean my room and I get all his food. Mm-hmm. Hey, Crow, you're not pregnant. You haven't even got a womb. And I think you're supposed to give me a baby shower right about now. What do you think? Hmm? Crow, you're not pregnant. I mean, how would you even have a baby? Why don't you just admit you're not pregnant? Okay, okay, I'm not pregnant. Ah. Hey, everybody, I'm not pregnant. Oh, that means I don't get a big free ride. Oh, my ankles are swollen. My back hurts. Carry me, I'm pregnant. Carry me. Well, I want a cut of the action, too, damn it. Crow. Yeah, well, who wouldn't want to be pregnant, huh? Who wouldn't want to be a big load on the rest of the world? Hey, everybody, I'm queen of the world because I'm pregnant. Then the whole world is supposed to bend over and smooch your ever-widening ass. Crow, 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 crow. Jeez. Well, when is it my turn? When is it Crow T. Robust's turn? <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> my water broke. So anyway, I trusted that Eagle Scout and he let me down. Steve. What is it, Steve? I'm a little worried about Johnny's plan. So am I. Hard to trust a guy not named Steve. I don't know if he's responsible for his actions. And he's putting on too much weight. I think it might be a trap. If it is, this time we're gonna be prepared. Come on. I think Johnny's lying about the babies and just wants the alien to marry him. Bread and butter pickles? How about a Molotov cocktail? Well, it's pretty early. I mean, we fill it with gasoline and then use it as a hand grenade. That's a ticket. Hand grenade? We could saturate the creature and detonate it with a very pistol. Mm-hmm. There's no way it could escape then. Yeah, nothing could live through that. <laughs> so, what do you think? Huh? How many bombs are we going to make? Well, between us, we ought to be able to carry about six. My God, you are mad. <laughs> what are we going to do with the girls? Mm-hmm. Take them with us. But I'm leaving them here unprotected. I can carry three. That's enough. Are we going to tell Julie and Donna about this? Uh, I think we better make sure Johnny doesn't find out, huh? Yeah, let's keep it between us, Steve's. You ever seen any of these work before? King Oscar fish balls? Yeah. I bought a canal. You bought a canal? Gorilla Tank was running wild behind our lines. Oh. He knew we couldn't do any much damage with our rifles, so playing kind of a cat and mouse game. They knew he could finish us off. God, you paint a picture. <laughs> Not far from where we were, there was a truck overturned, and I kid in and saw what was happening. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Got the brilliant idea to bring me some gasoline, and I made up some of these. Oh, well, the guys really liked them. That tank came by. We smeared it, but good. Anyway, what was your question? I... Pretty horrible to see, but it worked. Then there was a year I fainted before the talent contest. That's great. Good for me to get off of this mountain. Mm-hmm. Even with these cocktails, I'm not anxious to 
tangle with that creature again. Well, none of us are, but I don't think we have any choice. It came down the satellite. It's our responsibility. Besides, it's better to stalk it and have it come after us. Yeah, that's my dating policy. Yeah, you're probably right. And so I wish we could wait for some help. I just don't like the idea of taking Julie and Donna with us. Well, I don't either. Yeah. Then we don't know when help will arrive. We can't leave them alone. Can't live without him. <laughs> I don't think Dr. Wyman's going to need the chin-up bar. So NASA has one fully equipped hospital room. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. Look at this clown. Come on. Hey, weirdo. Hey, freak. How are the shrimps? Weirdo. Freak boy. What are you doing with Dr. Wyman's body? Hey, I'm not into that. I had to see how he was killed. Half your head gone. It's horrible. I don't expect you to trust me. I don't even know whether I can trust myself. Johnny, honey, please don't oh. treat me like a monster. I haven't done anything wrong. John, it's not a question of right or wrong. Maybe you're not responsible for your actions. Whether you are or not, who knows what you might do? You're a woman in love. John, don't you, don't you realize this unknown creature is using your body as a breeding ground? We don't know what to expect. He didn't use me. I gave of myself freely. I can't deny anything you've said. But you're a big, fat liar. I do receive impulses <laughs> from the creature, but I know I have free will. I, I can still have a career. I know I can still make my own decisions. Or is it your own free will or the creature's? Mm. That assists mm. benevolent. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I was thinking about the nursery. What? I'm not sure. But I do know that we have to give it a chance to explain. Come on, we're and losing daylight. No I'll be in the car. <laughs> Daylight will be here in about three hours. You better get some rest. Especially you, young lady. You got a big day tomorrow. Well, you <laughs> Stay here for a while. I'll work on my wedding dress. I'll, I'll get the bags. This guy is way over the edge. Oh. All right. You will give it a chance to explain. <laughs> we'll give it a chance. Yeah, kablooey, okay? <laughs> Once, twice, three times a blood beast. Nah, the blood beast got mad and spun shitties on the lawn. Hey, beast, honey, are we still going bowling? Blood? <laughs> Forgot their Mrs. Butterworths. <laughs> the blood beast has been drinking, and before our wedding night. <gasps> Ah, this is where the movie really swings in a high note. Uh -huh. Here we go. <laughs> oh, nice shot. Uh, if we could just... Well, there's something in the way. I can't figure out what it is. Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. Sorry, guys. I parked my Camaro here somewhere. I don't know. It's a beautiful day for a wedding, but why are they meeting the priest out here? I don't know. Okay, bride side or blood beast side? The creature isn't far away. Hmm? There's some hills to the north, and a cave. I'm seeing the color orange, and someone is thinking of the number 12. But he's never been in this area before. How does he know there's a cave? I refuse to answer that. Uh, by the way, anybody lock up the space building? I'm, I'm seeing a wool pantsuit, and someone is hungry for a frosted item. <laughs> I if the name says Corman, there's going to be walking. Yep. Oh, and there's a rock with a big hill. No, no, you must learn how to walk, Hobbs. Come on, with the knees. With, 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 the, with the knees. There, yes. Right. right. Oh, this is the spot where Blood Beast first told me he liked me. Carry me. Shut up. Carry me. Shut up. Carry me! Shut up. Uh, we have to flap our wings and fly from here. Uh, you know, I haven't picked up any impulses for about an hour now. <laughs> well, maybe they weren't really impulses. Perhaps they were just notions. Whoa, more undercupping. Yep, I see it. Yep. Undercupping. Undercupping. Cup, cup, cup. Cup. Everyone, I have an impulse to wander like we're lost. Uh. <laughs> oh, blood beast scat, careful. Maybe he was just picking up a CB radio. 
Well, we could just go to Midvale Mini Putt. I'm supposed to meet him there tonight. <laughs> oh, my pants. Oh, oh, both my pants. Mm. It's in there. What? Oh. Julie, Donna? Go check that out. <laughs> Stay there. There's nothing to fear. We're not going to take any unnecessary chances. The girls will wait here. Okay, you lead the way. You're going to give it a chance. <laughs> You're not going to kill it. <laughs> You're not going to kill it. Elaine! What happened? Why did you let him go? I couldn't stop him. Yeah, he thinks he's Idol Lupino again. He's all wigged out. <laughs> Blood, sweetie, they're going to kill you. I brought them to you. Hmm? They don't understand. I'm not sure I do. How can I help you to communicate with us? Now I am able to speak by assimilation, a form of photosynthesis. I have been able to incorporate certain of Dr. Wyman's functional processes. He turned out to be very boring. Is Dr. Wyman's death necessary? Through his sacrifice, I can communicate, understand your reasoning, your motivations, your way of life. Sweetheart. I will need your help. Together we must make them understand that I have not harmed you. And that we will give them a better way of life. Maybe not today or tomorrow, but soon and for the rest of your life. But anyway, now I'm hiding in here because the dogs keep burying me and digging me up. <laughs> so anyway, then I transferred to junior college. They had better space life program over there. And then, mm. Look! Here comes the bride. Listen! Please listen! Not be afraid. <laughs> I'm not here to harm you. I just want to kill you. Too far away. Let's move in. Uh, in our country, it's custom to throw gasoline on the new couple. Yeah. <laughs> Ceremony's about to begin. I love weddings. My nails aren't dry. Do not be afraid. <laughs> That's Dr. That? Wyman's voice. <laughs> it is his voice. But how? Yes. I am using Dr. Wyman's voice. I've got a little problem with the reverb, though. <laughs> I'm also using his car and his apartment in town. I have been able to master the use of many of his faculties. <laughs> His voice, I am able to communicate with you. Yeah, yeah. You killed him! He's huh? not dead. Not dead. He has gained something more than life as you know it. He is the first of your kind to attain immortality. Immortality? Uh, wait, I mean death. I'm not interested in that kind of immortality. <laughs> I know you want to destroy me, but listen. Please listen. I only want to help you. Millions of years ago, my people inhabited a planet such as yours. We discovered the ultimate power. Radar! Just as you on Earth are about to do. You're ready to make your move. We should have put this power to our own benefit. Oh, Instead, hatred, greed, and prejudice caused us to misuse that power. Mm, and it brought about our own destruction. Open target. Now's our chance. But you can't risk killing Johnny. No, wait. What harm is there in hearing them out? <laughs> for centuries, we have been circling your Earth, okay, okay. waiting for a means to penetrate your atmosphere. Your projectile was the first to present a means of entry. Those before were not retractable. Man, it goes on. They fell back to Earth. <laughs> I am the first to come. Heaven destruction? Hmm? What you say is true. What are we to expect? You need me. You need me? And I have <laughs> come. Through me, we will unite our intellects within one body. Oh, man. You can say. And how do you plan to do that? Already it has begun. begun. Within the hour, the first of our new generation will be born. It's true. I'm dilated to four. I can feel him inside. Get the cocktail sauce. You're imposing your will on me. No, no, honey, not now. You're I sacrificing can't. our I can't. civilization for the resurrection of your own. In the car, honey. I've been a fool. You've been a beautiful fool. The only way you can be saved from your downfall is by our sacrifice. What you propose is dominant. Oh, please. That's salvation. Don't be governed by fear. Go ahead and kill me. Hmm? You've already said I'm dead. Okay. Dead man with a brain and a body kept alive artificially to, to feed a generation of monsters. That's not true. Uh, uh. You don't kill me. 
A new civilization is inside of me. Well, a tiny civilization. Destroy <laughs> mankind as we know it today. The future of our race is in you. They wrote their own vows, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. You've got to kill me. We have to destroy it. You can do it. John! <laughs> Run! Get away from it! Oh. It's Operation Rescue! Generations. You big dopes! <laughs> you proved you let me go! <laughs> yeah, that's how it began. <laughs> You've got to kill me! I'm having hot enough time! <laughs> I'm gonna do everything myself. Oh boy! Oh, oh, ow, ow, wow! Oh, eat! <laughs> oh boy! You can't throw jars of rice! <laughs> My corduroys! Jeez. He hates that rock! <laughs> ah, save your own damn planet! The <laughs> St. Louis Parrot's mascot was burned to death today. In the meantime, I'll just roast. <laughs> mm. Bet it smells like chicken. Yep. Mm. I wanted to be an aunt. <laughs> Here I come too. Whoa. Whew. Still got a hold of a wet blood beast. Whoa. Now these Lutheran weddings are so short. Should we split Johnny open and scoop out the row? I think that would be it. No. I think we made the right decision. Well, there's good arguments on both sides. I... John made the decision. Mm. Let's hope it was the right one. We'll probably never know him. Hmm. Yep. Just what it is, we'll never know. We'll never know. Should we get Johnny or not? <laughs> Buy shrimp where you work or play. Okay, so uh, what was the point again? I don't. <laughs> How did he get the... <laughs> yeah, that's another thing. Where do these babies get off thinking they're kings of the world? Oh, I'm helpless. Feed me. Change me. Yeah, like, okay, I can't control my bodily functions either, Mike. So I guess you'll just have to follow me around hey, and hey, clean up my poop. Hey, girl. Can hmm? I just, can I read a letter? Yeah. Can yeah I just, just this letter? Sure, can sure. I just read? Yeah, go ahead. It's fine. Fine. It's just, you know. Just, ah! Go, go read. Yeah. Okay, thanks. All right, this uh, this one's a nice one. It's got a little picture with it. Why don't you put that picture up there? Oh, look at that. Okay, this one's from Leah. Hi, Leah. She says, hi, my name is Leah. I'm seven. Mm -hmm. I made a poppet friend for Tom Servo. She oh, probably needs a puppet. Do me a favor and hand me that box scent wrench. Wah, I can't. I'm a baby. Well, look, punk, if you can't do me that one favor, that's just fine. Hey, Crow, Crow, do you need do you need to just vent? I mean, go ahead. Your nah. floor is yours. Come no, on, no, no. Come it, on, it, no, it, go it, ahead. It, just that, 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 ah, yeah, uh, go on with your letter. Oh, that was okay. ruined. Okay, all right, fine. I got another uh, nice letter here. Uh, again, put it on Still Store Cambot. Mm -hmm. Thank you. This one is from uh, Lisa. Lisa. She says, hey, guys. Lisa. My name is Lisa, and I'm 13. I always watch your later yes, show at night. Babies, My mom yes. and I watch you it. You know, frankly, it's about time a few of the babies out there started pulling their own weight. How many years has it been we've been pampered and preening a little pink larva anyway, huh? <sighs> Yeah, you know, the sick thing is, sixth thing, I, I'm probably going to take a lot of heat from baby lovers just for saying the things everybody else wanted to say but didn't have the guts. <laughs> well, well, right in, right into me. Crow T. Robot, P.O. Box, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Hush, little baby, do not say a word. Oh, that's not true. How could you not love this baby? Mother, I'm not a baby anymore. Hush, you are a very naughty baby. Go back to sleep, little uh, baby. I'm so glad my mother is here. What, baby? I mean, wah, wah, wah.
wounded animal that large isn't good. 